Hey golf people, in this episode, we're gonna take a look at everything that Tech 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 has to offer. Well, almost everything. We're gonna look at their little GPS device, we're gonna look at a couple of their range finders, and we're gonna see if any of them could be right for you. Let's do it. All right, a big box just showed up from Amazon, and let's see what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. We've got, looks like the entire range from Tech Tech Tech. Now, Tech 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 did not pay me or compensate me in any way, but they did send these items for me to take a look at for you guys so we can find out about, first off, the Alt-G Ultralight Golf GPS, kind of a small GPS device that competes with Garmin's little device. You might want to clip it to your belt or hat. You've got their brand new Alt-S Pro range finder. I can tell you this box feels super heavy and solid, so I'm looking forward to opening that one up. And we've got the regular Alt S. We're gonna find out together what the difference is between these two, because honestly, I don't even know. We're gonna find out together and have some fun. Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and start off with the Alt G. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this little baby. Inside, you've got the instructions there. Here inside is the unit itself. So this is again, one of those little mini GPS devices. I see a lot of people clip this to their belt. Um, they also might clip this to the hat. You can see the little clip there. The screen is probably one inch by one inch, I'm guessing, and the unit itself is maybe an inch and a half or so. Uh, on the side, you've got some little grips here. So in, it hides a few different button functions. There we go, I just turned it on actually. All right, so you've got, very similar to how the watch works, if you've ever seen the watch. You've got the uh, select button here. In fact, I'm gonna, let me take the plastic off here to get that little thing out of the way. So again, up and down, and then you've got a select button there. This over here is going to be kind of your back button or get you back to the menu button. So the bottom left button here with the little three things. And you've got a dedicated um, satellite button here, which will, if you hit that, it'll literally search for the satellites. Now, since I'm indoors, I don't think we're gonna get too lucky here but we'll hit that button again when we're outside. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button here to get us back to the menu. Very easy device. Once you actually connect outside, we'll be able to see uh, the courses around us and then we should just start getting data. If you look here, this is what we will be seeing. You'll have a kind of a big yards in the middle there. It's gonna give you distance to the front of the green and back of the green on this picture. Again, kind of weird because I can't imagine that a green is gonna be 50 yards long, but <laughs> that's uh, that's interesting to see. And then up top, uh, you'll have the time as well as the hole that you're on. That's what we'll see up on the screen. So we'll take this outside here in a little bit and just see how accurate it is. But a very simple little device there. The only other thing inside the box here is going to be your charger. Now this is like a clip style charger, not necessarily one of my favorite um, types of charger. This is definitely going to be proprietary to this device. I don't know if you'd be able to find this um, outside of Tech Tech Tech. So we've got to get the little pins lined up there. It looks like four pins and we should hear a little snap. There it is. That's when you're in and it won't move as much. And then on the other side, you've got a USB. One thing I will say is the cord is looks a little bit longer. It looks like maybe a three foot cord, at least two feet anyways. And uh, that's a welcome addition to some of the technology we've seen where it has these little tiny three, four inch cords. So that's how you charge the thing, but nothing else in the box, really simple device. This is a really low cost way to get your distances out on course. We'll see how good it is here in just a little bit. So let's move along to the second phase of our unboxing here, which is the range finders here in the Tech 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 line. Again, we've got the Alt S and the Alt S Pro. They both measure 1200 yards. They're both tournament legal, slope mode, vibration alert. So can't see a difference there. <laughs> let's look at the side of the box here. Uh, optical image stabilization, they both have. That's actually really nice um, because if you've got shaky hands, this will actually correct for the shake. That's super nice to have. They both have fog mode. They're accurate up to one meter. The measure up to 1200 yards, both of these. Uh, we've got pin seeker technology for both. We've got magnification for both. And the difference here between the Pro and the regular Alt S is going to be the red TO LED display with four settings. Interesting, so that's really the only difference here. 
And I guess it's also easy to note by the color of these devices, the red signaling the S Pro. So if you want to flex to your friends and on the course, they'll know you got the Pro because you've got the red version. This is what you'll see looking through it. As you can see on the left here, we've got the red. On the right, we've got the black. I think everything else on the box is pretty much word for word the same here. Interesting. The cases also look the same. The dimensions are exactly the same. Yeah. So if you want a red screen, you got to go pro. If you want a black screen, I guess you got to go black. I do happen to prefer red, maybe just slightly. Let's go ahead and open both of these up. I don't know if I've ever done a triple unboxing, so there we go. I'll put this off to the side there. I'm going to just take this one out. Inside this box, uh, you've got the instructions. We've got a cleaning cloth. We've got an extra battery maybe, or maybe it's the only battery. We'll find out here in just a second. And you got the little lanyard in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep the battery here. We'll open this up. All right, again, I like this case. I always love these kind of cases so that it can goes in and out and it attaches with just the pull of the string there. Um, other than that, pretty standard case. Take this out here. Now this unit definitely feels much more sturdy than the previous generations. I'll leave a link to my other Tech 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 video. We took a look at the Alt G back in the day and I can already tell you off the bat that these materials are much nicer. One of my gripes of that one was it just didn't feel solid, but this one does feel very solid. I don't think there's a battery in there. Here's the battery compartment. So we'll probably have to install the battery on these things. Yep, nothing in there. So we got the battery here. We're gonna go ahead and pop that one in. This battery will go like so. Screw it back in. I like the screw down. That's how you know it's a little bit more water resistant. Um, this product comes with a two year warranty. That's a good thing. Some of these only come with 12 months. This one comes with 12. And it says you need to know here, the target distance must be a minimum of 16 yards or 15 meters in order to get a reading. All right, so that's nice that it tells you that. And there you have it. Up top, we've got the power button and we've got the mode button here on the side, kind of where your thumb would go. So probably makes it very quick to hit that button and that is your Alt S. We're gonna put that one off to the side here as we open the Alt S Pro and just see if there's anything different about this. You never know what you get with the Pro, right? You never, never know. Case is exactly the same. Inside it looks like the same stuff. We've got the battery, we've got the lens cleaning cloth, we've got the instruction manual, and we've got the lanyard, so nothing different there. It would be nice to have these differentiated by color, like I would like to have red stitching here on this one to match the red of the unit itself, but you know, if you've only got one, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Yeah, yellow and black is their colors of Tech Tech Tech. Okay, very, very similar looking thing here. Same thing, you need to know, take that part off. And honestly, very, very similar. I think it is it slightly, the finish of this is just slightly darker. Slightly darker, same mode button, same power button. And with the addition of the word pro here, that's really the only thing I see different on this rangefinder. That's super interesting. There you have it guys, there's all three of these. We'll take them out to the course and see how accurate they are. Nice looking units, nice feeling units. These two, very solid, this one, Feels a little bit lighter, but it's definitely a little budget model for those who just want a quick distance measurement to the pin. Let's take them out and see how accurate they are. Oh, it's a beautiful day here and I've made it out to the course. We're gonna fire this thing up here. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the satellites here. Now, one thing that I would really like to see here is some sort of status so I know how far along I am in the GPS satellite retrieval process. 
this doesn't give me any hint. So I'm just gonna keep the camera running here. That way I sort of time it for you and tell you how long it takes for this thing to bounce off the satellite and start working. But my recommendation with this GPS device from Tech Tech Tech, as well as any GPS device, is to hit the satellites right when you get to the course so you don't have to do this. You don't have to stand out on the first tee box and wait and hold everyone up. There we go. We just, we just got confirmation here that we've hit the satellites and now we're getting the courses. I'm actually playing Pine. So I'm gonna to toggle down here one course. I'm gonna hit Pine. And it's telling me that I am 400 and 98 yards from that hole up here. It's a par five. Now, I just happened to be standing right here at 500. So I walked back and we're really close. We're basically definitely in the realm of possibility. There we go. It's bouncing around a little bit, but we're within a yard or two and that's really all you can expect of a GPS device. All right, <laughs> it's bouncing around a little bit more now all of a sudden. Let's see if we settle on something. All right, it seems to have settled on four. Well, it's going down a little lower. Let's keep going lower. Interesting. Let me stand up a little bit here. See if that changes anything. All right, it seems to have settled on, well, every time I say it seems to settle, it bounces. All right, we've seemed to settle on here 495. It was looking pretty good there right at 500, but uh, 500 is the, the marker. I'm getting 495 here. So we're off by five or so yards. We'll see if this gets a little bit better as we get closer to the hole. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna take a shot and see how we do. Let's see if we can go birdie here. Here we are, dead middle of the fairway. That was a good drive. Just not too far though. So what the device is telling me here is we are 264 to the middle, 250 to the front and 278 to the back. It's hard for me to tell if that is front, middle or back pin up there. I'm gonna guess it's kind of front or middle, but we'll find out. But anyway, that's what we're seeing. So let me look at the Bushnell app here and verify what the Bushnell is saying. So the Bushnell is right at 262. So now I'm gonna take out the range finders and see exactly how far we out. And I'm gonna test this against what I think is pretty much the gold standard of accuracy, the Bushnell Pro XE. So we'll see how these two, the Alt S and the Alt S Pro do against the Bushnell range finder. So I'm gonna start off with the Bushnell just to get our baseline here. I'm getting a reading of 264, so the GPS unit was pretty good there. First up is the Alt S. This is the regular version. Two sixty four point four, and with the Alt S Pro, two sixty four point one. So we're pretty far out, and we're within a yard with all these devices. So I'd say that's a pretty good start. Let me hit a shot, and we'll see how we do from a little bit closer. And I'm just going to lay up with a five iron here. That's gonna put us in really good shape. All right, well, after two good shots, I'm in a super spot to make birdie here. Let's go ahead and check the device. I'm getting, looks like 87 yards, just went up to 88 yards. And we will check that now with the range finders. All right, first up here, we're gonna go with the Bushnell, get our baseline. We know this one to be accurate. I'm getting 90 yards on the button here, 90 yards on the button. Next up, the Alt S. This is the regular version. 89.9. .9. And I got a little nice little haptic feedback there. Here we go. This is the Pro version, 89.6. So again, very, very close to the Bushnell. The Bushnell rounding up to that extra yard. I gotta say, these things are pretty accurate. Okay, let's see if we can get a wedge tight. Oh, that's good. Guys, there was a second there where I thought that one was dropping. Look at that thing. 
That's a foot. All right, how about that for a start? We talked about birdie and we did it. And uh, no, there wasn't any mullies there that you didn't see, that was legit. Those were three of my best shots all year. As you know, if you've been watching this channel, this is probably one of the last times I'll be on course for quite some time. I'm having surgery here on the leg and I appreciate all of the, the nice words on the last video where I announced it. So thank you very, very much. I am walking today, taking a little bit of a risk. Hopefully we'll be fine, but uh, I am taking it pretty easy and I've got to shut it down here, but I really wanted to get some of these last reviews in before the surgery here in about a week and a half. So yeah, accuracy does matter. And that's why I would never play golf without one of these devices. When I was younger, I used to just look at the 150 Bush or the 100 marker and kind of eyeball it. And I got to be a much better player when I've got some technology that aids in that. Listen, the guys on the PGA Tour are even using rangefinders now, but before that they had caddies. So why can't I get a little bit of an advantage? And you can see, it makes a very, very big difference. All right, this is hole number two. I'm standing here, 345 is what it says on the marker. The old G from longer distances, again, looks a little less. We're at 338. Gosh, that could not have been any more perfect. I'm really happy about the way I'm playing because the reason I'm holding out here is our club championship is in a week and I really wanna play that. It's definitely gonna be the last time I play before the surgery. So it's kind of a bummer that I'm playing my best golf right before I go under the knife, but it's also a really good time in terms of the club championship, which I'd like to win. So hopefully you guys root for me. But let me tell you, that was a great drive. All right, let's see how far out we are. All right, first up to bat here is the Bushnell again, get our baseline. I'm getting 109 with the Bushnell with the regular Alt S. I still have the tag on it, it's in my face. 108.4. And with the Alt S X, 108.1. So interestingly, this one's off by about 0.3 yards compared to the other one, but they're both again within a yard of the bush now. So I'm really happy with those results. Let's end strong here. Let's see if I can go birdie birdie and then we'll wrap up with what I like and what I dislike about these units. Now by sliding out this piece on both of these devices, that's what activates the slope feature. Okay, so if you want distances adjusted with slope, with this <laughs> range finder got very dirty here today. This is like a dirt magnet, this material apparently. But I digress. If you wanna get slope uh, with either of these devices, literally just take this little piece, slide it right out. I'm doing it one-handed because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. There you go. If you want to turn on the slope functionality, it's that simple. I actually really like that. I always love things that are tactile. Uh, I hate going through menus if I can avoid it. That's really easy, really super cool. Plus one for the Tech 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 Alt S and Alt S Pro there. I do have those distances dialed in, don't I? Tell you what, when you got the right equipment, it does help a lot. <laughs> Guys, I can't complain. We were about two miles an hour from going birdie birdie as it just hit the corner of the hole and looped out. A little less speed that thing was in, but let me tell you what I like about the Tech 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 equipment and what I think could be improved. One thing I definitely like is these materials have gotten better since the last iterations of what I tested, no doubt about it. Big, big step up for Tech Tech Tech. In terms of the little GPS unit here, I think that leaves a little bit to be desired. Just like I didn't really love the watch, I don't necessarily really love that either. I think they've got some problems with their satellites. It takes a little too long to get the signal and it's continually bouncing. So for me, that probably wouldn't go in my bag. But what would definitely have a chance of going in my bag is both of these units. I think they're greatly improved. I think for me, I'd probably save a couple of bucks and just go with the regular. The red writing's nice to have, but for me, it's not a deal breaker. But again, if you're in a really sunny environment and you need maximum visibility, you might appreciate the red. 
that's completely a subjective choice, but both of these rangefinders get my seal of approval. I'll give these both four out of five. I'm gonna give the GPS unit two and a half out of five. Just wasn't a winner for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you to Tech 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 for supplying the equipment for me to test out. And I hope to see you very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through. Mm -hmm.